Well, here we are. We are starting to get into the fall. And one of my favorite fall time lures is an Alabama rig. As a matter of fact, anytime that the water temps are a little bit cooler, I pick up an Alabama rig a lot. It is just one of the best ways out there to catch a big fish. Alabama rigs catch big fish. And I know that when this thing came out, you know, it kind of got outlawed from tournaments, I think a little too quickly. Uh, you know, I think nowadays you see a lot of Alabama rigs only playing in certain situations, just like every other lure out there. And with that being said, the fall time is a great time for A-rigs. And you can fish this in big lakes. You can also fish this in ponds. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that as well. Now, before we get into the Alabama rigs, this video is brought to you by my company fin fishing right now for the month of september so for about another week i am running a sale on the website you can get a usa made sun shirt and a pair of fin fishing sun gloves for 60 bucks so it's basically like getting a pair of sun gloves for an extra six dollars this is one of the most popular products that i have on the website they are extremely comfort they comfortable they obviously protect your hands from the sun um, they also really help kind of help against those braid cuts have you ever had those braid uh, kind of cuts in the fingers there that hurt, especially when you eat French fries on the way home. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, for an extra six bucks, you can get a, a pair of sun gloves. So it's real easy. All you gotta do, add the sun shirt to cart, add the sun gloves to cart, you will see that automatic discount at checkout. I really appreciate everyone who has shopped at Fin Fishing. All right, let's talk about the A-Rig. Um, and I really, I wanna talk really quickly about setup real quick on the A-Rig, because Everyone always asks what the setup is, and at times I don't even think about it. I'm talking about a technique and I don't think about the setup. So real quick, my typical A-Rig setup looks just like this. I like to use a seven foot, six inch, kind of heavy power rod and typically kind of a mod, moderate, fast action rod. To me, that's the rod that I really like. You do kind of want a heavier power. You could probably get away with a medium heavy power rod if you're using lighter A-rigs. Um, but because that bait is so heavy, typically a heavy power rod just kind of uh, helps you to fish it a little bit easier. I personally like to fish my A-rigs on 20 pound fluorocarbon. I know when this technique really came out and still to this day, a lot of guys fish it on straight braid. And straight braid is, is doable. You can obviously do that. I just feel like I have better hookups. I also feel like I lose less fish if I'm using 20 pound fluorocarbon. There's a little bit more give when you're using that fluorocarbon. And I like that when I'm fishing a rigs, I feel like with that braid, sometimes you, you break, you break blade, the, the wires on your, uh, your a rigs a little bit easy. You can bend out hooks. So I really like 20 pound fluorocarbon and typically something in the seven gear ratios when it comes to reel. So that is my typical setup for the a rig. All right, let's talk about a few, uh, tips and tricks. Now, one of the first things that I wanted to talk about with a rig, something that I have an a rig, something that I have found to be very crucial over the years is I like to vary my retrieve a little bit when I fish an Alabama rig. And I don't think that you always need to do that, but you know, this is a bait that a lot of us are going to pick up. We're going to cast out there. We're going to kind of just reel back. I have seen a lot of days out there on the water where you're reeling that thing back. And then all of a sudden, as you bring that bait up to you, like as it's getting closer to the boat, you kind of speed up the retrieve and it comes up, bam. And that's when you get a hit. So sometimes that change in direction of your A-Rig is a really big deal at getting more bites. So one thing that I started doing now that when that, when that started happening to me, when I started to see that something I started doing is just trying to change my direction more times in a cast, because what I have found out, especially with the use of forward facing technology is that you have a lot of fish that follow this bait and they will follow it for a long ways. And so when I cast this thing out, usually I'm bringing it out of retrieve. What I like to do sometimes is simply keep, keep reeling at the same pace and lift up my rod just a hair, not a lot. Cause you don't want to go, you don't want to go like way high and past kind of where your hook set is. So a lot of times I'm down here, I'll lift up my rod. And what that does is just kind of elevates your A-rig in the water. Another thing you can do is simply speed up your reel handle kind of does the exact same thing. I just kind of prefer to do the, the rod thing that helps to just elevate that bait 
Make it change directions. And I'm telling you, there are days on the water where that will trigger a bite every time. You will notice that every time you raise your rod slightly, bam, that is when the fish gets it. So that is just a little thing that I like to do. I like to vary my retrieve with an A-rig. Sometimes another thing you can do is kind of like a pop it where you're, you're bringing this bait in <clears throat> and you just kind of pop the rod tip. Sorry, my A-rig's hooked up, so that sounds terrible, I'm sure. But you just kind of pop the rod tip. And sometimes when you pop the rod tip, Underwater, this thing just kind of goes a little bit crazy. It will compress down and puff back up. And sometimes that also triggers a fish. So just if you are fishing, especially if you do not have, you know, Mega Live, Live Scope or Active Target, any of these things, do that on your retrieves because I'm telling you, you will, you will get more bites. There are definitely days where you can just cast this bait out. You can, you can just reel it back in and you're going to get some thumps, some fish to hit it. But I do like to vary my retrieve from time to time. The other thing that's very, very important, this is something that is a little bit, um, I'd say that it's well known by most anglers, um, but I do wanna do want to just reinstate how important it is, is that there are days where it seems like fish really like Alabama rigs that have blades on them. Like this one, you see there's a couple of uh, uh, small willow blades, and there are days where you do not want those blades, where actually having the blades is just too much for a fish. So like I said, a lot of people already know that, but if you are new to A-rig fishing, I just want to make sure that you know that. If you go to buy some Alabama rigs, make sure you get some that have blades on them and ones that don't have blades on them, because I do think that that can make a really big difference as far as the number of fish that you will catch. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is fishing it in, in ponds, because this is not something a pond fisherman thinks about most of the time. And I get it. <clears throat> the other thing about Alabama rigs is they are a hangy bait. Like if you're fishing it around a lot of cover, they can get hung up. So if you are pond fishing from the bank, I understand why you may not want to throw this bait. And even if there's not bait fish, you know, like in your pond, I'm telling you, this can be a really fun way to catch pond bass because they've simply not seen it. They have not seen a rigs. The big thing with fishing in a pond is you want to use very light heads. A lot of times the heads that I'm going to use are an eighth ounce or less. Do not use anything more than that because if you use something too heavy, you're just going to be in the grass, the muck, the bottom, whatever's on the bottom. I mean, most ponds are like six, seven, eight foot deep. I mean, it's just going to depend. It varies all across the country, but I like to use really light heads, eighth ounce heads. Typically, if I use it like eighth ounce heads and I, in Ohio, you're allowed to throw three hooks, you know, depending on where you live in the country, that different states have different uh, amount of hooks you can have on a bait in Ohio you can have three hooks. So eighth ounce all together, that's three eighth ounce worth of weight. And so you can keep that bait pretty high when you're using eighth ounce weights and you can reel it pretty slow while still keeping it high. That's what I like to do a lot when fishing it in ponds. I know that a lot of you pond anglers have probably just not thought of throwing an A-rig in a pond. I'm telling you, they will bite it. There's something about an umbrella rig that it just triggers an innate response from a bass. We saw this when A-Rigs busted onto the scene. When they busted on the scene, it was like no bass had ever seen them. And this is something that, you know, saltwater fishermen have been using for years and years and years. And all of a sudden bass fishermen decided to do it. And it was like, it, it was crazy when that first happened, how effective you could throw an A-Rig anywhere in the country and catch bass. And right now during the fall time, is a great time to pick up the A-Rig. So one last thing that I wanna to talk to you about is, um, you know, I like to, especially if you fish around smallmouth, um, but even if it's smallmouth spotted bass, even largemouth, I like to, at times, dye my tail. So you can see this is kind of my typical A-Rig. You can either dip the tail in some dip and glow or you can get one of these spike in dip and glow uh, type markers. And all you gotta do is just color the tip of that, you know, your chartreuse. And sometimes I think that kind of like what we talked about um, yesterday, that in the fall time, I do think that having a little bit of chartreuse that helps that, that A-Rig to stand out can actually be really good at getting more bites. So that's what I like to do, guys. Those are kind of my A-Rig, the things that I like to do with an A-Rig. Again, if you are a bank fisherman, just try it. You know, like just try it. I think that you will be shocked. I know that it may be difficult in some situations, 
but you can catch some bass and they have not seen it. So, all right, guys, that's the A-Rig. I love it. Cannot wait to get on more of an A-Rig bite this fall. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget to check out that fin fishing gear. See you tomorrow.